So, today we're playing Time Gal. Time Gal is a story uh, that is a chase through the ages as it is described. It is the future, where time travel is just being perfected. On the eve of its unveiling, a new time machine is the talk of the world. Joseph Harper's Path Forger is about to show be showcased live on worldwide television. And from his lab, Harper prepares to send his head technician, Time Gal, into the machine to explore the past. This is from the manual, by the way. Time Gal enters the Path Forger, but before she can get comfortable, a man named Luda suddenly appears from behind the control panel. Luda grabs Time Gal and sends her sprawling out the front of the Path Forger. I'm going to rule forever in any and every era the world has ever known, Luda proclaims. In an instant, the evil Luda and the Path Forger are gone. What do we do now, Dr. Harper? Time Gal cries. Oh, I thought this would happen. Hurry, press that button over there. The part of the lab wall opens and another time machine rolls into the lab. The words Path Forger 2 are clearly visible on the front pretty good get i'm off i'll do my best to track him down and protect the world's history i hope i can catch him since he has a bit of a lead do what you can we're all counting on you time gal squishers time gal i oh i was gonna say you played both of these back to back freeze it up cool you can see it on your screen put it in your microwave make it real hot like a soup or a dip we call it heat and sip very tasty and healthy too granny creams hot butter ice cream granny creams hot butter ice cream so that's that is the plot for time gal as for the game of time gal well we're gonna find out. This is the Sega Mega CD! Play Mega CD! It just kind of froze a little bit. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, thank you, Sonic. Aww. The Luigi, Luigi board? board? Whoa! <laughs> Voice acting! Time Gal! Join me on this adventure through the land and, and job of Time Gal, trying to get the Path Forger 1 back from the evil hands of Luda, or whatever his name was. Time Gal, a ma magical space adventure. Can you believe it? What are we playing? It's Time Gal. Have you heard of it? No, we've never seen Time Gal before, Richard. Well, now you have. Can you believe it? It's Time Gal. Time Gal. This is a Sega CD game. I didn't even have a Sega CD. He's fighting a gladiator? There's, that was like a demon with a scythe? That, that was, I don't even know who that was. I guess it's the big bad guy. She's getting chased by a rhino. Look at these pixel graphics. Oh, there she goes. They're giving away all the best scenes. At least we can watch some of the game without me dying constantly. That is one of the death scenes. Is there a game here? There is a game here. This is a Dragon's Lair-like. This came out two years after Dragon's Lair. This is the same concept as Dragon's Lair. We're gonna see how this is gonna go. 
I'm gonna have a lot of save states. 1600 BC, let's go. Oh, I gotta hit right. Up. Oh my God, right. Congratulations, you have won. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was three button presses. <laughs> What is this game going to be? <laughs> oh, oh, I picked a goodie. Ooh, 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 I picked a goodie. Oh my gosh. Whew. Let's go. Was David Cage involved? No, Toei was. There are 16 levels to this. Uh, f f f 6 billion BC. Up. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I want to see some of the death. I want to see some of the death screams. I would love to see some of the death screams. Like, what is this one going to be? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. This is going to be a game. This is literally video game history that we're cataloging here. This is fully voice act. I, I, I actually died that time. That was uh, that was my fault. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Left. It's left this time. Okay. Now it's right, I believe. Ah! No! Oh, no! <laughs> You're not, this is the game! This is the game! The, imagine that this was supposed to be completely hand animated. Left. Gun. I have a gun button. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, oh, oh. oh, let's go down. Ooh. Nope, that was a death. Go up. This is the game. So. You have, it is an FMV game. Do you know what, like, if you've never seen Dragon's Lair, um, which is effectively a, um, a movie that you have intricate death scenes tied to. The concept is you get a full experience by watching the whole movie. And the only way you can do that is if you either pump enough quarters in or... Uh, you get perfect at all the timings. But the thing is, they have, in this game, uh, the way to defeat something like that in the arcade was that they have scenes that are flipped and scenes that are in and out of order. So you can't learn that it's up, right, up, left, up, down, gun, through the whole game, whatever the sequence is. They randomize and flip things around so that you can't learn one specific sequence and make it easier to beat the game. Um, I think that's absolutely fascinating. So we're going to keep going. I, I have a lot of faith in this concept. I really like this. Especially if I take the time to like die at possible points. Ooh. Oh, how old are you? Oh, I died. That was bad. What if I hit the first one? Hey, good looking. 
It doesn't matter. Oh, shit. I pick up the sword no matter what, though, is the thing. Oh, sword broke. Oh, bad. You wouldn't call this a game? This is a game! This was released on the Sega CD. This is a FNV game. Your takes, uh, timing and reaction. Speed, knowledge of, of, of what's coming up based on, uh, damn it, replays. There is a uh, strategy to this. There is a form function figure to this. Um, but I think, I think there is a space in video game history for things like this. Absolutely. This informs how, damn it, I died again. This informs how we design future things as well. If we wanted to make really good, interesting video game movies, we had to start with places like this. We had to go to places that might these days not be uh, the most interesting or, or, or whatever game in the world. But I think there is absolute merit to showing this off, to having this be something that people can see live happening uh, and, and what the experience of playing this is like. It's it's fascinating to me that Twitch allows me to share time cal with people. This is a ridiculous game. I took my hand off the controller. I took my hand off of the controller and died. Uh, it is Flash for Sword. Flash. 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 Up. Oh, left, then up. Okay, then, uh, left. I hit it! I hit it! I hit that. See, it's a game because it can get me frustrated. How about that? If I can lose to it, this is a game. Games back then needed a high amount of skill uh, in, in some in some aspects to beat. Dragon's Lair was interesting because you wanted to see past certain scenes. Like it, it was it was a game. It required timing, patience, uh, knowledge. I was, I was I said this a second ago, but I am getting it back in my brain because I lost it for a second because I wanted to focus on this fight. But it's queuing the same stuff. And uh, they are quarter munchers in the end, so they make them notoriously difficult. Um, oh, that's bullshit. They make them notoriously difficult in order to make sure that they keep getting your money. So, wait, this time, I think I got that on the last frame. Ah, oh, damn it. I, I like what they're doing with some of this animation. Oh, I failed. You know if you've lost, if you haven't hit something because uh, Time Gal in the bottom corner will uh, react with her, her little thing. Her little face will change. And if she's dead, I'm dead. I hit it! I hit it! Oh! No way. But this is this is full voice acting, which is done by somebody that I can't think of anything that I've seen that this person is voice acted in. But uh it it it's 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 fully voice acted. Damn it, I hit right again. Or up again. Yes way. Now imagine how annoying this would be if I didn't have the ability to do save states. There are no checkpoints. I am using save states in order to not make this more miserable than it has to be because I get two lives and I want to actually play this game. I almost died there. Ah! All these should count as deaths, shouldn't they? All of these should count as deaths. 
All of these need to count as deaths. Hold on. No! The death counter has been ch the death counter. The death counter. The death counter has been the death counter. The death counter. This is, a, this is a hell of my own creation. This is a hell of my own creation. You know what? You never know what you're going to expect on the Saint Richard experience, but at least it was something. Thank you for butt. Right. Left. The sound happens at a different time than the lighting does, so I have to be mindful of that. Gun! Yes! We've done it again. 30,000 bows in place. The password is Fuhugugads. Fuhugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugug
Hmm. Down. Right. Left. Up. Down. Right. 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 Oh. Oh. Bisected by the pterosaurs. What are all these, uh, like, men doing? Oh, I, uh, okay, I did that happen again. Jesus. <laughs> I hit the <laughs> This is going to come down to what the game is considering within timing. And it is a little hard at times. Because I hit things within the flashes where it's supposed to, but the sound effect doesn't always sync up with, uh, with that. So... If you hit things too early or too late, you're dead too. So... We're gonna be hearing this one for a second. I legitimately don't know what's happening that's going wrong. Is this bugged? No, oh, it's fine. Oh, jeez. Shoot the enemy. Ooh. I died, apparently. Fall into the net. Run away. Ooh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> like I know what the JPEG is. I just want a picture of the god dang hot dog. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, I shine. Ah, uh, good night, mom. Ah, <sighs> thank you for lurking, shine. That was that was a nice little workout that I did. Stretch out my arms. Ah, enjoy your lurk. Keep playing, uh, Flute. Enjoy it, Flute. Oh, that's Gajira. She's gonna taunt the dinosaur? She got lit on fire. Is this gonna be the... There it is. There, there it was. There it was. I feel like that didn't have the full animation. Like we saw in the intro. Like it was it was looped a little more. Shit. It was blood on fire. You came in too late and now it's on cooldown? How long is it on cooldown for? Ugh! 
30 minutes? Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. I fell. I fell. Well, well, Scarab, I guess since since you're here, I guess I can do this for you. Hold on. Like I know what the JPEG is. I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Just I look like I know what the JPEG is. I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. There you go. <laughs> I just did it twice. <laughs> Ah, oh, my arms! This is why it's a half an hour. Oh, uh, do I look? See, I finally did it. I edited it a little bit together too. I I changed. I fixed the ending a little. Thank you for clipping it. Like I know what the JPEG is. I just want a picture of a handbag. Oh, okay. 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 Panorama, thank you. I heard, I heard the video. I heard it in my ears. I saw it on the screen. It played. A beautiful tune. Delicious into my, my ears for you. A hamburger. Thank you. Thank you for it twice. Double is nice. A Hamburg today is a doctor away. Is that something? <laughs> Return of Ganon. Okay. Right, right, left. Right. Left. Up. Down. I've done it! <laughs> first try! Let's go first try! Let's go! No! <laughs> Let's go! This is a little too much. There's a lot of there's a lot of this on my screen. That time gal is a menace. This time gal, she's for me. She's great. 1941. <laughs> Next, we're going to go to September 11, 2001. Uh, can you fucking imagine if Time Gal called 9 11? Can you imagine if Time Gal knew 9 11 was going to happen? Like, Time, Time Gal from 1985 called 9 11. Thank you, Bush, for the pizza party check in, my friend. Thank you for being here. If you're not in the pizza party, you can join the pizza party. What was that? Bread. Sorry, I just needed to house this orange juice real quick. I was so thirsty. Ah. Bush! Bush, thank you for being here. We're playing Time Gal today. We're playing Time Gal today. 
if you've never heard of Time Gal, that's fine. Neither did I until I planned this episode like a billion years ago. Shit. This is 1941. Oh my god. What? This is this is World War Two. This is nineteen. So World War One uh, ended in uh, when? No, this is before that. That is in forty five. What? This is it's forty one. This is this is this is this is, this is halfway. You're right. This is halfway through the war. I think she'll I think she won't. I don't think she'll bring us to there exactly. I don't know how to process World War II and anime girl. Don't worry, she's a time traveler. She is Doctor Who. Pause. Thanks, time gal. Right. These planes don't have any markings, so I'm not sure which they're fight oh wait, hold on. Hold on, was that... Is that just shading, or was that Japan? Oh shit, we're gonna run into this aircraft carrier. Oh my god. Oh my god. This game fucks! Holy shit! Like, okay. I was just playing... I was just playing Phantom Liberty on Monday, and I played it specifically on the stream because I said, holy shit, you watched the president get shot down. This is insane. This would be an incredible like life event to witness in your life, and you then have to go and help the president. Like this, I, I just I just watched Time Gal die in a collision head on with a from a plane to an aircraft carrier in in, I guess, a kamikaze attack since that plane was going down anyway. Like, this game isn't pulling, this is, this is going hard. This is, this is, this is not pulling any punches. It is fast, it is tough as nails. It will go and stand in any time period that it needs to have an interesting set piece in and go and, uh, Oh my god. Uh hope for luck. Hope for luck. Please help. <laughs> oh wait, shit, I need the other one. Jump on the ship. Whoa. Okay, the plane was gonna blow up anyway. <laughs> Jump into the ocean. The the little the little animation of the angel flying up. Hold on, hold on, we'll get that again. Please. The little animation here praying for help and then just, <laughs> she just dies and goes to heaven. What a what a little interesting animation that they, they tied into tied into this. Just like oh, please, God, help me. Well, you couldn't. <laughs> like, good little, good little bit instantly dead. No question about it. Like, at least you're going to heaven, time gal. <laughs> oh. Jump into the ocean. There we go. Little cute little face that she has at the bottom. Time gal could be my new toasty. Woo! I won somehow. That's a whale. No, that's a submarine. No, that's oh, submarine whale. Is this the ending of of uh, Resident Evil Four? Oh, oh, that's that animation. A reminder: thoughts and prayers only go so far. Thoughts and prayers only go so far. Thoughts and prayers only go so far. A submarine. Don't shoot. She would, she would be dead from concussive force. I'm gonna crash. You're going to explode, time gal. Oh sh! Hmm. 
when my dad was in the Air Force, he once saw a man get sucked through a jet engine. She would be a billion pieces right now. <laughs> yeah, you just go. <laughs> Nothing to bury. Oh, I exploded. I'm sorry. It is. That is a, a horrifying way to go. Oh, please. Thank you. Left, please, thank you. Uh, right, please, thank you! Uh, please, thank you. Left, please, thank you. Right, please, thank you! Why would you still be launching- Why would you still be launching planes? If somebody is on the runway suddenly, cancel! Belay those orders! Some- some- this is a security risk! Like, luckily, she's not trying to do anything, but- Oh, it's just over. I've won. That was it. That- I- 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 I was next to that, like, uh, anti-ship cannon, and that was it. Uh, it's- at least it's my bar mitzvah. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why I read that as that. Uh, start button. I, I'm in 999 AD. 999. Oh, this is the zombie one! Oh, it's just a slash animation. We regret to, we regret to inform you, someone is no longer with the living. They're still among us, but in protein smoothie form. That's awful. That's awful. Just thinking about the process of that is t what is going on? What is going on in this game? Cuts her butt. You're gonna cut her butt. So there are zombies that are real in 999 AD. I hit that. This is like this is wild. Panorama, you were like, is this a game? I think this is the gamiest game I've ever gamed. I wouldn't give you not a game on the Sandwichard experience unless it was a React stream or something special. Or weird or whatever. That went- that didn't go through. You're lucky I have save states. Up. Apparently this takes like an hour and a half to get through, so fuck. So we will, uh, we'll see. You just realized you weren't in my Discord? Yes, come and join my Discord. If you have not been in my Discord, please do. I'm always Why looking for interesting right people to come and talk to. Mr. Sandwich, we were just talking about politics. Or join today. the Discord and see what else the Sandwiched experience. It was has uh, to we have we have a we have a, a special chat for what I call the discourse. We talk about uh, actually we just started talking about the video games industry because it's uh, a bit of a heavier topic in in, in uh, the terms of lawsuits and how a uh, a boy apparently spent thirty five hundred dollars over the course of a year about three hundred fifty dollars a month on microtransaction video games and uh the family is suing ea uh ubisoft microsoft activision they're suing from a bunch of different places all around the world and they are suing on how uh patents that they have specifically designed by all of these companies are going to uh influence people to purchase cosmetics and other things so for instance one of the one of the uh tactics that was patented was a system where they can influence a person that is thinking about buying say the new mickey minaj bundle in call of duty today um but if they get put into a match that has two people with the Nicki minaj call of duty bundle they might see it and go man i want it and then purchase it so they have patented a technique 
however that patent goes, to make sure that things like that can happen to influence purchases and continue to uh, grow in their whales for year over year recurrent user spending. And I think that's fucking disgusting. So we talk about that in my Discord, uh, because of course we do. This is important stuff. Like, talking about the video game industry is important to me because I've spent so much time with... I got grabbing. With the video games in my life, they have been a prime uh, focus, interest, hobby, fixture. They've comforted me when I have been sad, and they have been there uh, in every convenience, every uh, possible form, and every uh, conceit that they can. And they're just, they're just, they're, they're the way that I can relax. They're the way that I can interpret and, and understand the world. They are a hobby and they are, um, a lifestyle. I love a video game, as you could tell. So talking about things like that is important because games are cool and we want to have cool developers make cool games. We want cool games. We want more games that look bad, that cost less, developed in less time by less worked developers. I would easily take a worse looking game. Easily, if it plays well. You are playing Dark Souls earlier? That's the Dark Souls of Dark Souls, my friend. Have you heard about that? That's an incredibly hard video game. Nobody's ever beaten it. Nobody's ever beaten it. We're in 1991. Oh my god. It. Where are we? Is this the, the Gulf conflict? What war is this supposed to be? Oh my god. Is this Black Mesa? Like... This is wild! Why are they chasing after this girl? Oh my god. Jump into the river. I got et by crocodiles. Jump into the helicopter. Oh, that's the right one. Go up. Come on, time gal. You got this. Oh my god. Uh, Dark Souls is very good. How are you liking Dark? What are you playing? What build are you playing? Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I needed to go to the helicopter. Um, I, I like, I like magic and big swords. In decks, interesting. What are you using as your dex weapon? Move on to next period. Boy, I'm glad. Password. Shik Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alshin plus 15, very good. 1588, Pirates, Sid Meier, that guy grew a mustache. Hold on. <clears throat> that guy doesn't have a mustache? Oh no, I mistook his uh, tongue for a mustache. I died. Alshin plus 15. What's your, what's your in? What are you, what are you going to be using for weapon? What magic are you going for? Up. 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 Oh my god. Up. 
Jesus. Shit. Yes, what sorcery are you planning on using? Is there anything that does damage, or is there any specific thing you're going for? Damn it. One sec. There we go. Sorcery is a magic. You're a sorcery. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I appreciate you, Panorama. I wonder how Duties is doing tonight. I saw Duties earlier, but Panorama, how are you doing? How is everybody doing? I'm having a good night, but I want to make sure everybody else is having a good night. Are we having a good night here on the Sandwich and Experience? I forgot all the commands for this. Up. Oh, I failed last time, and I still got through it. That one's up. I'm burning. Yeah, there's fire. There's holy. There's magic. There's poison. It's four types. Damn it. Bit of a headache, took a bunch of stuff earlier, waiting for it to kick in. Excellent. We love uh, a tired king. No, I hope you feel better soon. I understand. I drove my wife to... I drove my wife to work this morning really early, and I drove my wife back home, and I did a lot of driving today, and I'm going to have to do it again tomorrow. That's fine. I'm just tired of driving. <laughs> Gas is so expensive. I'm gonna have to drive it all weekend. Actually, no, I don't. On Saturday, I am. God damn it! On Saturday, I am. What am I doing on Saturday? I'm going to a farm. I'm going to a farm. Andrew, if you're watching, are we going to a farm? Only you can answer this, and only you can also stop forest fires. If you've never stopped them before, now's the time. Yeah! Yes, maybe if we can afford to get there? Okay, yeah, let's see. Time gal, come on! I'm hitting it! Is yes maybe the same as maybe yes? Uh, no, not necessarily. In Canada, all these things mean different things. I saved it past that because I didn't want to deal with it again. He's dodging all of this cannon fire. No! Oh! Oh, that's the same sound bite twice. Ooh, the timing is getting stranger. Base on those cannon blasts. They're they're doing great with the sound. I'll tell you that. All right, jump into the boat. No, I died. Whoa ho 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 ho! 
Dive into the ocean. Why? So many things are out to kill her. So many things are out to kill Time Gal. It's almost like they know that she shouldn't exist there due to the... Why did she get to leave when she got onto the deck? I never know what the pacing of these is going to be. The first one was like three buttons. <laughs> this game is very silly. This is 500 AD. I'm in the land of the Morlocks. Oh. Ooh. Ah! I almost one tried it. Damn it. She was having a blast on that cart. Yeah, wahoo! Second cart. More locks. And the guy's back. Oh. Ooh. She lost because her boobs were out. If I was Time Gal, I would still just play with my boobs out. But they can't animate that. that is, that's a crime. I couldn't animate that back then. It was it was illegal. I've won. First try. This calls for celebration. We've done it. We've celebrated. Thank you for celebrating with me very briefly. Let's continue. In the year 3999. That's a lot of robo skeletons. What was that? Nope. Wouldn't let me do it. She has a bad feeling. This way, this way. Yeah, lead him into a corner. Why, why did she do that? Shoot the monster. I died. Oh my, hold on, I gotta see that again. Hold on, she shoots them. And then they split apart into a bajillion pieces, which turned into individuals, versions of that as she gets eaten alive by multiple of them, go up. That's wild. How can she go up? She's tied by some kind of sticky string. Na 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 na. Open the hatch. Ah. I didn't catch that, so she spaced herself. Oh my god. She is spending... She is- she's spending minutes at a time in these places. She is not there 
for more than like three minutes at a time. She is hopping between time period. It's supposed to be fast paced because you need to be able to hit the things, but she's realistically, she's only in these time periods for a couple minutes at a time. She is simply goofing off. 2010. Wow, this is way different from what I expected it to look like. And then again, I knew what New Jersey in 2010 looked like, so that's what I expected. Our... Has our Earth been destroyed by garbage? By meteors? Our Earth is being destroyed by meteors. We made it into some kind of utopia and then it got destroyed by meteors. Damn it. I was really close that time. I think a blast on that cart, man. We can have her have a blast back here in 2010. What if she had the minecart again here? And wore it like a hat. That would be nothing. Thank you. Thank you, time gal. Oh, she's dead. Hey. Damn it. Thank you. That was like a just frame. Electrocuted like Blanca. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, Time Gal. Hey, Time Gal. Time Gal is an existentialist horror. Time Gal is visiting multiple different time periods that may or may not be affecting each other due to her interruptions and interference of going through the time stream. If these are all discrete worlds, these mean that means that they're all discrete universes. Unless she encounters herself at some point implying that she is going through all of the time periods herself in, 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 in a loop in order to do whatever she's doing. But at the same time, some of them are reversed or backwards or like different parts are in sequence and out of order and other things mean whatever. So what is time? What is time gal doing? Time gal is trying to rescue the 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 ship that was stolen from her what's it called the path forger luda stole it what has luda been doing luda wanted to become the ruler in every era the world has ever known i haven't stopped anybody from doing anything yet I haven't done anything to affect, like I fought a pirate. I don't think the pirate was working for Luda. I don't think the dinosaur was working for Luda. What am I doing? What is Time Girl doing? 4,000 AD. Everything is chrome. Oh my god. Ooh. Nope, that's dead. I just watched her get cooked in a ship. I feel like that part is the ending of something else, and after you do it, you win. Ah, well, she's not dead. I mean, I can survive a lot, actually. I'm surprised. I've seen her survive worse. Gotcha. 
Get both of them or die. The ship might still exist there on another run through. There are, I think there are a bunch of different levels because there's supposed to be 16 levels. So each section of the level is cut up. There's probably like three different parts of the actual story of a level where you would revisit them on multiple playthroughs and get a slightly different story out of each one. I believe. 3001 now. Oh, that's death. Is this... Is this Luda? Or is this just a robot that is attacking her? She's not exactly dying. Maybe she's, like, super. Like, she's the professor's assistant or whatever, but, like... Maybe she is super-powered. Give it. Could she have superpowers? Would she have superpowers? Can, can she? What is... Like, if she's from a point in the distant future where time travel becomes possible, uh, I don't even know what year that's supposed to be off the top of my head. In the conceit of the game, I mean. How strong is that gun? Wow. Oh. Okay. Everywhere she shows up, she fights something for three minutes. And then zips away somewhere else. She's not really finding a path, but she's just kind of meandering through periods of time. Come on, time gal. Oof. Time gal, man. What? What? I don't know what I'm gonna say, but like, this is wild. This is insane. I am fighting a giant robot in the year three thousand. Shoot the enemy. Two. One. She gets squashed, okay. Oh, go up is the right one, we'll go down. Oh, she just falls forever and dies. That's fine, we'll go up instead. Jump! And that's the end of it, of course. Naturally. Thank you, Time Gal. Congratulations, you have won. Move on to the next period. Password. Quick to hurt. Get ready! 2001 again. Biker mine from Mars. Look at these well rendered punks. These men of the the salt of the sea. These men of the air and the sky. These 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 urban gladiators. Make a U turn. Oh no, I've messed up. She ran into them, 
That is her own fault. We're turned right instead. <clears throat> Alright, well, go straight ahead then. That is there specifically, the, the time stop points are there specifically to trap players who are playing too well by making it a one in third chance if they don't know what it is off the top of their heads. Is that mean? No. I think with the concept of this kind of video game, the idea was to get as much money out of these kids as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Need some water. Hold on. But I think when when the the job of the the developers of this game is to make a game that is going to have a bunch of different scenes of characters doing interesting stuff, uh, all on different time periods. They have to make it tough as nails in terms of timing and and tighten down this hand drawn animation that was on the laser disc originally in the arcade to make it a pixel mess nightmare that'll run on the Sega CD. It is a little difficult to make some stuff out. The flashes are not exactly vivid enough to just base it off of that. You would have to play the game a lot in order to do it just by the flashes, I think. Um... And we're not really doing anything. Like, we're supposed to be saving the the thing that I keep forgetting the name of, but we're not doing anything. Hi. We are not on the path to stopping some guy. We are bouncing from time period to time period, um, fighting some guys, running from some other things. <laughs> And generally having a bad time in the uh, the time stream. And if we could take a second to uh, sit down with my dogs. They're begging for it. And I love them. Girls. My girls, come here. Come here, Frank. Hi, my name is Richard Sandwichard, and you are watching the Sandwichard Experience. I am going through an interesting time in my life where I have been doing this new thing called Twitch for a couple months at this point. I started at the end of February, and I think it's been going fine. I have had an incredibly generous and supportive community thus far. And it's been with them that the Sandwich experience has been exactly the way that it has been. There here's my here's my garbage. It's been it's full of it's full of tissues. I sneeze so much. My allergies are so bad this season. But um Really, the, the, the point is, I just, I just want to take a second to thank you during Weird Game Wednesday. Weird Game Wednesday is entirely designed to play stuff that is not supposed to fit the mold of anything that you really ever would have played before. Sure, you know about Dragon's Lair, but what was the last time you actually booted the game up? 
Um, it's nice, I think, to sit with you guys every so often to just rap about things because I want you to know that doing this is wonderful. Doing this is fantastic, and I need you to know that this means so much to me every day that I come out and do this. My wonderful, jealous, beautiful dogs. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. What was that? Doc, thank you for being here. Bread. You caught me in the middle of monologuing. Um... I'm I'm talking about how wonderful it is to have a community that I do have. It's it's been life changing. I've never really had anything like this. I tried for years on YouTube, I think. Um I'd like to say that I think I tried. Um <laughs> I can't read. I'm not crying it's the onions, understandable. Twitch is a really important uh, interesting part of my life now and I hope that the turns I've been making in terms of my content recently have been um, have been good honestly um, there's only so much that I can do times are hard creatively and I can't always come up with the most interesting stuff in the world to do. But when I can provide a very fun, different experience than the one you may have seen on other channels here on the show, I, on the show, on the site, I want to entertain and I want to educate and I want to bring, like, this is a game that has 471 followers on Twitch. I don't think people understand what that kind of means. Um, even some, thank you for tweeting my stream out, Duck. I appreciate you. Um, the the follows a game has is not really indicative of like how many people watch, but it's an idea of how many people care enough to click a button to follow that kind of content. So when this game has 471 likes, and this is a game that is on the Sega CD that has been made practically obsolete by other similar games in similar genres and uh, conceits, it means something that I get a chance to talk and uh, talk about it and play. There, there's something really important. I think in games that are not it's not that this game is not good. This game is great. This game is really interesting. It's fascinating. It it doesn't really have a plot, but that's fine. It is a game designed to bunch quarters. And after today, um, I don't know how often I'm going to think about it, but at least I got to bring it into your lives. A game that you've never would have thought about or heard of before. And I did that. I, I, I do that. Well, I try to do it all the time. October was about playing things that were demos or playing things that people didn't know or going back to some old classics. Like, for some reason, the Luigi's Mansion video is doing incredibly well on YouTube. Incredibly well in terms of my metrics, which is like 140 views or something. But, like, nobody... I don't push my stuff because if it wants to grow, it will. If my content is good enough, people will run with it. Scarab has been good for that. Uh, Panorama has been good for that. Like, these are people... Uh, Polyester Pimp. Uh, like, there are a lot of people who have offered... Like... Honestly, uh, lots of financial support. Like, a, like, tons. Like, a lot. Like, I don't... I don't understand why sometimes. Um... But I've gotten so much support from you guys, not just in money, but in uh, uh, consistency and hanging out and putting up with my nonsense and playing things that might not be within what Twitch uh, deems as important or interesting enough to promote on any of its pages. 
I'm going to be playing things that are odd, and I'm going to be playing things that you may never have heard before. Like, this week we played Tokimeki Memorial. Do you know what that is? If you know what that is, do you know what it is because of Tim Rogers? It didn't come out in the West. And I'm playing the SNES uh, English translation. We're doing that on Tuesdays. Um... And I tried to do Phantom Liberty on Monday, and I thought that was great because the opening gave me chills watching the president get shot down. Final Fantasy XIV is every Thursday, and like uh, the story is getting more and more interesting as time is going on. And Friday, I mean, that's followed New Vegas. That's literally one of the best games of all time. And I'm getting to share this stuff with you every single week. And like, I don't care about numbers. I don't. But like, I know. <coughs> I'm dying. Um, like, I, 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 I look at numbers as a way to gauge um, how Twitch is doing. In an interesting way, I think. I, I've been I've been considering it this way instead. It is how Twitch is doing, the population of Twitch and what my content will bring in because of it. Not necessarily uh, that my stream is not good, because my stream is good every day. My stream is good every week. My stream is good since I've been doing this. I have confidence on my ability to put on a show. Uh, but I like to take a moment and like step outside the curtain and talk every so often. And this is happening for anybody who's watching the VOD. Hi. My name is Richard Sandwichard, and I am a real person, just like you. And this is smack dab in the middle of the Time Gal playthrough with probably no music in the background. And I hope that this moment has given a look into my psyche, my opinion on some things, how I feel about what I want to do with some video games and show you guys. I think... I think the way that I talk about games says how I feel about them. There are games like I'll give you an example. My wife does not like that. I don't like Stardew Valley. I don't care for Stardew Valley, but I've played countless hours of it with her because I love my wife. A game will mean something to me if it means something to me. I don't have to like it, but I have to try it. I have to try everything at some point. So streaming has been able to get me out of my shell and play things that I wouldn't normally necessarily play too. Because we are so infinitesimally small. Hi, honey. Come here. We are so infinitesimally small in the cosmos, and the way that we are only going to be able to make a connection with people is through making a connection with people. And the best way that we can do that is by reaching out. And the way that I am deciding to reach out is through providing, hopefully, interesting and insightful content here on twitch.tv slash sandwichard. There is something important and special about the games that I play, the games that I decide to put onto my channel, the way that I speak about them. I think I think that living a life through video games like I did when I was a kid is uh, a way to show where you are in your life, which I know that's redundant, but hear me out. I'm going back to playing Something like, say, Luigi's Mansion during Halloween, and I haven't touched Luigi's Mansion in near 15 years. It was really fun to do it again. It was very, very cool. I really like to play it. I'm never going to touch it again unless at some point I decide to do a full playthrough here on the show. But I'm glad that I was able to go and do anything with it at all in the time that I had to in October. That I set aside specifically to uh, do Halloween stuff. And I'm glad that I set aside time to do Halloween stuff after I did set aside time to do Starfield stuff. After I set aside time to do streaming with other friends and play Destiny 2 a lot and 
change a whole schedule in order to hang out with people. And plans fell through and life happened, but you know what? I'm still here. I am here trying to be a genuine person on camera for the stream. And I want you to know, I really want you to know I appreciate you being here every single day. All of you, no matter who you are, if you're here for two seconds, even if you're Vimic, who apparently watches for a billion hours and has never once chatted in my stream and has 4.4 4, uh, thousand followers, and I would like you to say hi. <laughs> this is like the day that I get you to say hi, v uh, Vimic, is a day that I will know that I have won. Because I was interesting, <clears throat> interesting enough, or, or at least genuine enough, to get somebody who has apparently hundreds of hours of time watched into my stream. That's a hundreds of minutes, fine. Uh, invested into watching my stream and has never said, once said anything in my chat. I am fascinated. I am fascinated at the kind of person you are. I would love to speak with you. I'm, I'm so happy that you could even be here at all to go and support me through this. I want to know who you are. And if that you never want that, that is absolutely fine. But you know, I'll talk about things that are real on the show. I will. I have no problem with that. I don't want to call anybody out for anything, but I always want to be positive and I always want to know why my content works and the ways that it does. And if Vimit can talk to me ever, I will be happy because I will know why my content works. It doesn't get the biggest reach, but I think it works in an interesting way. And it's Weird Game Wednesday that brings out these thoughts. I wouldn't be having these thoughts if it wasn't for a community point challenge meeting for Weird meeting uh beating finishing completing whatever for weird game wednesday to play time gal i wouldn't be pontificating about the purpose of me being on my stream if i wasn't playing time gal moment to moment twitch will surprise you in ways that you never expected and it will continue doing that for an eternity if i decide to let it and i hope the ride will be smooth of the ride will be interesting. I don't have controversy in my chat. I don't have problems between chat members. I, uh, as far as I know, I don't see issues that other streamers might see. My chat might be a sleep little place and you might be listening to a madman raving about games that don't mean anything to anybody, but I'm your madman raving about games to anybody and everybody who will possibly listen and who may not care, but at the same time, I, I'll care for you. I'm Richard Sandwichard for president, I guess. <laughs> I love my dogs. It's also wonderful getting to sit and pet my dogs for a minute because I get to, I get to relax. I get to unwind. I get to breathe and be and understand more of myself thanks to taking these precious moments to spend time with my loved ones which includes my fantastic dog, Charles Dingle, Bingleberry. And my wife is here on the floor in pajamas. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, dear. What are you up to? Nothing. Nothing? Did you hear me talking and want to come hang out? We need to get you, like, um, if we get a couch in here, we can get you on commentary couch in the background. Just run, <clears throat> run a, run a little microphone headset or something over to you, and you'll be piped in somewhere, and you can go and quip. You'll quip for me. Hi. I'll quit? Quip. You'll provide insightful commentary. Hi. Hello, my dear. Yeah, right in my shoulder there. Ah. Ah. Thank you. Charlie, your paw is in my testicles. In? Yes, inside of them. This is the only thing, this is the kind of thing that can only happen here on the Saiyan Witcher experience. Beautiful dogs, beautiful wife. Nah. Don't be at me. 
It's all because of Time Gal. Hi. I guess I could play Time Gal from down here. In. In practicality, I could. <clears throat> I wonder. Here, hold on. Hang on. My dog camera a little bigger. There you go. <clears throat> no, the other way. Thank you. There you go, Char. I can play. You're right. We can. I am going to try to do this sitting on the floor with my dog. I got et. I just keep getting et. What can I do but get et? Where are you? Oof. All right, time gal. Avoid the T-Rex, get eaten. I have to watch for the time gal down there. Once it changes, I can hit the button again. Damn it. Come on, time gal. Impress me with your speed, your grace and finesse. Ooh. <clears throat> there he is. Oh, that's death. I hope this isn't the last level. It's possible this is the last level. Very good. Die. the end of time, gal. <laughs> Victory! Charlie! Charlie, you're on my lap. I've saved Grant Man- I've saved mankind from a great crisis. The peaceful world is here to say, bless the time, gal. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, we've won. We've won, honey. We've done it. Password. Kvig here you go, that's time, gal. Hi. Can I watch out? Can you 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 watch out? Let me can I stand up? Can I stand up, Charlie? Charlie, can you move so I can stand up? I love my dog. I love my dog. Watch out, honey. We've done it. We've beaten, I guess we've beaten Time Gale. Oh, that was, you know, that went a little, a little faster than I expected it to.
Let's see. Press start. An ending animation. With her getting squished. Oh, no, it's a bunch of them. It's a bunch of death animations. We've beaten Time Gal on the Sega CD. Thank you for Keijima for directing this game. The planner was H. Suzuki and H. Ogawa. Thank you for planning this game. Time Gal. I mean, programming was by H. Hirachi. Fantastic. Mega CD programming. There's the, there's the good one. There's the there's the angel one that we like. Is she getting absorbed by slime? But first, oh, that's the monster that bit her. We've done it. Wolf Team by Telenet Japan, 1993, licensed by Taito Corp, licensed by Sega Enterprises, Ltd. I can't believe we've beaten Time Gal. Is there best players? Ooh. Yes. S. N. D. I got a lot of points. All right, here, skip. You return momentarily. Bongo, you just missed the end of the game. You just missed the, you actually, you missed not only the long talk uh, that I had, I uh, you also missed the end of the game. That was it. You've missed, you've missed the end of the game. So it was good. I saved the world. I, I jumped through a bunch of different times and fought a man for two seconds who blew up his own base because I time stopped and moved his gun that he was going to shoot me with. And time gal's done. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to end so soon. <laughs>